Hi, it's Maxine K and Yoga All Snuggled Up. And we're here to bring you a love note from the Greater Philadelphia Center for Spiritual Living. Huh. Tonight, I'm about to be teaching my uh, fourth class on uh, Alive and Angelus, my book. It's been so much fun, so much fun, in fact, that the class decided they wanted one more. So we're going to have a fifth one just for fun. Wrap it up. It'll be good. In rereading the book that I wrote all these years ago, I have been inspired all over again, especially by the chapter called Encouraging Examples. When uh, I interviewed people and had them tell me their stories about how they did amazing things in their later years, whether it was something physical like climbing the Grand Tetons or whether it was finding the love of their life at a much uh, riper age than many do, um, learning an instrument or, or uh, scuba diving, all of these things not in their 20s or 30s or 40s. And so I'm just inspired thinking of how we are limitless. The only thing that prevents us from living fully in any and every area of our lives is an erroneous belief that we somehow are not able to, are limited. Instead of remembering, or in some cases, finding out for the first time, that there are infinite possibilities because each of us is a beautiful, unique, individualized manifestation of the one life. That life is God's life. That life is limitless. So let's think about the things that we'd love to do and discard those limiting, false, erroneous, negative beliefs that we somehow can't do it. Let's look at the encouraging examples. Look at the people around you who are living their lives fully at any age and think about those people in history that have done amazing things. You know, it's not just Grandma Moses who started a new career very late in life. We have the possibility of doing whatever our heart is asking us to do because we are part of the limitless, loving, wise, wonderful expression of the divine. Isn't it good to know and to remember who we are? Isn't it wonderful to realize nothing is possible, nothing is impossible. In fact, uh, that word impossible, the only way uh, it ever is in my my dictionary at all is for me to make two words out of it. You know what they are, don't you? I'm possible. Let's remember, each of us is an infinite expression of the divine, and we can do anything we set our mind and heart to do. Let's go do that. Much love to you, and tomorrow you'll get to hear from Reverend Mike. God bless, and let's see you at the picnic on Sunday, those of you who are in town. Much love. See you later. Bye.